click the Turn Editing On button. Select Glossary from the Add an Activity drop-down menu. On the Adding a New Glossary page, give your new glossary a descriptive name. Describe the purpose of the glossary, provide instructions, or background information in the description area. Entries shown per page. This sets the number of words and definitions that students will see when they view the glossary list. If you have a large number of automatically linked entries, you should set this number lower to prevent long loading times. Glossary type. Here you can decide whether the glossary will be main or secondary. The glossary system allows you to export entries from any secondary glossary to the main one of the course. In order to do this, you should specify which glossary is the main one. You can only have one main glossary per course. Duplicate entries allowed. This allows the entry of more than one definition for a given word. Allow comments on entries. Students and teachers can leave comments on glossary definitions. The comments are available through a link at the bottom of the definition. Allow print view. This provides a printer-friendly version link for students. Teachers are always provided with printer-friendly version links. Automatically link glossary entries. If the glossary audio linking filter is enabled by an administrator, then turning this on allows individual entries in this glossary to be automatically linked whenever the concept words and phrases appear throughout the rest of the same course. This includes forum postings, internal resources, week summaries, and so on. This entry is case sensitive. This setting specifies whether matching exact upper and lower case is necessary when performing automatic linking to these entries. For example, if this is turned on, then a word like HTML in a forum posting will not be linked to a glossary entry called capitals HTML. Approved by default. This allows the instructor to define what happens to new entries added by students. They can be automatically made available to everyone, otherwise the instructor will have to approve each one. Display format. This specifies the way that each entry will be shown within the glossary. The default formats are simple dictionary style. This looks like a conventional dictionary with separate entries. No authors are displayed and attachments are shown as links. Continuous without author. This shows the entries one after the other without any kind of separation but the editing icons. Full with author. A forum-like display format showing author's data. Attachments are shown as links. Full without author. A forum-like display format that does not show author's data. Attachments are shown as links. Encyclopedia. Similar to full with author, but attached images are shown in line. Entry list. This lists the concepts as links. FAQ. Useful for displaying lists of frequently asked questions. It automatically appends the words question and answer in the concept and definition, respectively. Scroll to the bottom of the screen and choose Save and Return to Course.